Alrighty then, I guess it's time to pick up where we left off. We were supposed to go back here and talk to Paladin Romani, because right. she's going to have another wonderful and exciting thing for us to do. Ad victorium, initiate. Why, well, yeah, ad victory to you too. Whatever. Vomitorium. Something like that. Talk to me, Tux. Hello, initiate. Hi. Congratulations on officially joining our ranks. Well, thank you. I apologize that we aren't able to do an official ceremony right now, but as previously stated, something more important has come up. I've been informed that there is an independent settlement that needs our help. Oh, A group God. Of Blood Eagle Raiders are extorting the villagers and taking their supplies. The village's leader, Jenny Brown, has more information. You can find her at their settlement, a camp made up of tree houses that they call the retreat. A settlement needs your help. Oh, there's a flashback to Fallout 4 for you. Alrighty, um, what do we get in return? Really, this is my first mission. Isn't there something better to do? Oh, well, let's see. Well, let's try that one. Something better than helping those who can't help themselves? Where's your sense of compassion? Aiding oh. civilians is part of the Brotherhood's mission here in Appalachia. We need to show them our goodwill. Oh, well, now that you mentioned it and put it that way, okay. I don't want to say you got it, boss, because that just sounds rude. And what do we get in return? Well, once again, we're out to help. Understood, Paladin. Gotcha. I trust that you will represent the Brotherhood admirably on your first mission, Initiate. I will certainly do my best to see. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to pretend like I'm a nice guy. Well, I am a nice guy. There's no pretending. All right, let's go out here and wait for this god-awful long loading screen because it takes forever. But who am I to complain? Am I right? Nice little puppy dog there. Unfortunately, it tried to eat me, so I had to kill it because, you know, I eat it instead. That's the way it things. Alrighty. Now, where is this settlement? Hopefully it's somewhere I know of, because it's called the Treetops. I'm pretty sure I do. And do I? I don't. Of course I don't. Well, in that case, let's go to the Haven Church. And we'll just skip, skip, skip the doodah across the, the... Well, you know what I'm getting at. We'll, we'll go see them. They gotta be nice people. I hope they're nice people. What if they're not nice people? You know they're gonna be nice people. Now I have been here, this is a nasty place. Ooh, blowflies. I should probably get them. You know what, while I'm here, I think I will. I'm gonna get some blowflies, because I like blowfly glands, they come in handy. Well, that was fairly quick and easy. Blowfly meat. Dirty water. Meat. Ooh, a gland. Yay. Another gland. Yay. It stinks. I mean, well, I'm, I guess it probably should stink because, well, I mean, there's little piles of poo. Really big piles of poo. And the water is bubbling. Look at that. Ew. Oh, it's gonna fart. I just know it. Uh oh, that's just nastiness. Brahmin meat. Yeah, because I'm gonna eat the Brahmin meat now that it's been sitting in that pile of poo. Don't judge me. I do what I have to do to survive. Is there something where I miss? I miss something? There? No? Alright. Anyhow, over here to the treetops. By the way, in case you're wondering, I get the blowfly glands because, whoops, sorry about that, I get the blowfly glands because, well, mainly because you turn them in at the Dolly Sod's quest to, uh, Treadley, I think his name is, or something stupid like that, robot in there, uh, that with, uh, it's called Stings and Things, and he gives you, um, what does he give you? A uh, bug repellent that's supposed to help. That really doesn't. Oh, yay! I found five places in the mire. And the biggest thing, though, he gives you is the possibility of getting a tadpole badge, Pioneer Scout badge. 
You get one of those Pioneer Scout badges and you can take it and trade it in. You get eight of those and you can get, and I will show you here, in my apparel, my high capacity Pioneer Scout tadpole backpack. Look to carry weight, 120. Now don't, don't, don't look at those numbers. Those are made up, no, I think that's somebody's phone number. I don't know. But the 120 carry weight, oh yeah. And that pack, that backpack mod is just super awesome. And if you keep doing this daily and grind it every single day, you put that sucker in your in your uh, vending stall, 15, 20,000 caps, no problem. No problem at all. I had my camp at the uh, Nuka Cola plant and put one of those in my vending stall for oh, 15,000. And pie, literally by the time I fast traveled to memory. White Spring, would you shut up? I'm talking. God, people just out here talking to themselves. Looks like it might rain later. Shut up. Anyhow, um, by the time I got to White Spring, somebody had bought it at 15,000 caps. So, yeah. Do, do that. Well, no, don't do that because then I'll lose my market. <laughs> well, this is quite a nice little place here. They've got set up floating around in the treetops. Uh, they do say that the uh, person with the higher ground. If those raiders come snooping around, shut up. Regret it. Uh, God, nobody asked your opinion on these things. Anyhow, those with the higher ground have the advantage of shooting down on the people because the people got to climb up in there to get to them. I hear a kitty. Well, anyhow, there's lots of people here that obviously will not shut up when I'm trying to talk. Including that one. She doesn't look like a villager. She looks like a raider. How's it going? <coughs> Maybe she just needs a bath. I don't know. There's the kitty. Hi, bonkers. How you doing, no key kitties? Ain't it cute? Oops, sorry about that. It didn't scare you off. Meow. I mean, they have doors in the place. I mean, like this big gaping hole is fine. Last night, you're gonna put a half a door up over here. Fell out of bed and straight to the forest floor. You couldn't make your own door. You had to steal a broken one off somebody else's house. Uh, there's no hope for humanity. Red couldn't jump all the way up here. Who was still your new cold? Right? What? You yapping about? What's over here? Okay, there's Looks another like it might rain later. You think? That's what the other girl said. Once folks start having kids, we're gonna need to get some guardrails on these here bridges. You think? You think? It's nice having everyone nearby. Even if they are at different elevations. Okay, y'all are just crazy. You know that, right? Uh, is, is this the guy I'm supposed uh, to talk to? Hi. This place ain't quite Georgia, but the humidity is sure trying. Well, you are in a swamp. What did you expect it to be like? Dumbass. Hi, Jeannie. How you doing? Hello there, stranger. What can I do for you? Okay. That southern drawl just sounds almost manufactured. Well, uh, I'm an exterminator here about your raider problems now. I am here on behalf of the Brotherhood. Well, aren't you just the cutest Brotherhood member I've ever seen? Oh dear My God, that doesn't work Jimmy on me, honey. My name is Jimmy Brown, and I'm the mama hen of this little family here at the retreat. Lately, my kin have been harassed by a woman named Dagger and her Blood Eagle Raiders. She's causing all my people to go hungry and threatening our lives. You should take some time to talk with some of my people. I'm sure they have some useful information about Dagger us? that they can share with you, you know. Okay. You're a creepy lady. You and the doctor dude should should hook up, you know? Uh, make friends, but I don't want to. <laughs> I think I'll just go talk to them then, because right. you're creepy. Let me know if you need anything else, darling. Okay, you're still creepy, lady. All right, well, let's go talk to some people. So at home in the apocalypse. You feel at home here? You're a strange, strange person. You should leave. Sorry, uh, I'm wary of outsiders with, with Dagger holding us hostage. 
Okay. Can I talk to you? You gonna let me talk to you or what? Let's shut the door. Maybe then I can talk to you. I should make something sweet to cheer her up. We've got flour, sugar. Wait, Rand Hood is one of Uh, lady. Er, hey, mister. Let me stand still. i to talk to you here. Don't cause any trouble around here. I will be able to find you. Oh, you are tricky. Tell you what. Looks like it might rain later. What do you uh, like about living here? Because that's a good question. Being high up in these trees makes me feel safe. Plus, everyone looks out for each other here. And we do what we can to make the best of it. If you can just help us get rid of Dagger, we can go just back to living in peace. Okay. Uh, living up here, I'm thinking sleepwalking's not a good option. And rolling out of bed could be, well, a whole new experience. But anyhow, tell me, how did you meet this Jeannie Brown chick? Hmm? My partner and I were holed up in a building when we heard some people come inside and start looking through the place. We were worried we would have to fight. But instead, Miss Jenny welcomed us into her group with open arms and offered us a place in the family. Okay, so she came in to rob you and steal your shit. And then said, well, why don't you just join us? Okay. Well, back to the main point. Do you have anything that I can use about that dagger chick? Huh? Yeah, I went out hunting shortly after one of her weekly collections and tracked her lieutenants to see where her hideout is. That and I lost the trail and wasn't able to get the exact location. But I do know that there's somewhere to the southwest. If you find her, kill her. Her and her damn blood eagles are taking our food, water, stim packs, everything. All in exchange for allowing us to keep our lives. Okay. Um, well, thank you for that. I, I gotta be on my way. I go talk to one of you other people, okay? You, you have a nice day there, okay? Please help us give that dagger what she deserves. Okay. Now, he said somewhere in the southwest. You're here. I wonder what everyone's doing today. Everything from there to here is the southwest. Very helpful. All right, well, there's got to be somebody here with a little more brains. So How do I get out of this joint? Of those thorn bushes. Sorry, no time to chat. I'm like the fog. I wasn't planning on talking to you. Just makes it harder to see. God, these people just too much shut up. Hour for that food to reheat. Oh, you poor thing. I won't let anyone Let's mess talk with this village. idiot. Oh, it's Mr. Know Sir. Who you are. Forgive any attitudes from us. We got people going hungry here. We'll go fishing. Uh, well, anyhow. So what made you want to live in these tree houses, huh? You kidding me? It's got to be the coolest digs you can get in the apocalypse. I'm proud to call this place my home and these people my family. I think you've been sniffing the swamp gas too much. But tell me, how did you join Jeannie here and her bunch, huh? I was surrounded by a group of vicious mole rats. Some members of Miss Jenny's family found me. They saved me. Figured I could use some more protection from all the nastiness in this world. Now we just need to deal with Dagger. You know, had you killed one of them mole rats, you could have cooked it up, you wouldn't be starving. Just saying. But anyhow, tell me about this Dagger chick. I run the storehouse here and have to deal with her lieutenants that come to collect every week. They have some sort of fancy rocket launchers that would blow this place to smithereens if given the opportunity. And oh. Her and those Blood Eagle Raiders are definitely too tough for us to handle on our own. Something's got to be done about her. And I hope you're the one to do it. If I remember correctly, and I'm sure I do, they had some stuff that got stolen a while back. Now I know where it went. All right, well, I got to go talk to some you of you. You go get colors. that dagger and uh, bring me back my Instamash. Please. I never thought I'd live in a treehouse. Uh, who'd have thought? Instant mashed potatoes would be one of the few things that survived the freaking apocalypse. Oh, to cheer everyone up. Uh, got right. flour, sugar. Wait, ran toad eggs won't explode after they're cooked, right? Whoa, okay. Did you jump up here? N no, I walked. It was right here. Okay, so, hi, lady. Hey there. Sorry, you were a bit wary of strangers right now. So I've heard. How'd you end up here in the retreat? Miss Jenny heard of all the people in Appalachia and thought it would be a good spot for some consistent trading opportunities. 
We came across all these abandoned tree houses, and it seemed like the perfect place to set up our little haven. It allows us to keep our independence while still making it easy to trade with the settlers. Mostly. Honey, what are you throwing in the water there? Uh, it, whatever it is, it ain't gonna grow. And if you're feeding the fish, well, I don't think there are anymore. Anyhow, tell me about this dagger chick. Well, I know she's got numbers, and she's smart. She's got people tracking our trade routes, and they've been harassing our caravans. It's making the settlers not want to trade with us for fear of losing their own people. I don't blame them either. Dagger's people are making it harder and harder for us to have the supplies when she comes to collect. Honestly, I think she just wants an excuse to kill us off. Oh, well, they are blood eagles, and they're known for doing stuff like that. Well, I appreciate your help there, Toots. You have a great day feeding your fish, and uh, I'll, I'll be back. I believe in you to give that dagger what she deserves. Okay, well, let's go back over here and talk to Miss Jeannie. That weird lady. And trust me, she is a weird lady. Let's go this way instead. They look like they all connect. Miss Jenny brought us all together, and nothing will take us apart. Oh, okay. Um, hopefully I'm right on that. I yeah, this looks let right. anyone mess with this village. Uh, except for Dagger, right? Because apparently you let Dagger in here and you trade the world. She steals your shit. So. Alright, let's talk to the crazy lady. Alright, witchy woman. Tell me about yourself. What's going on? I hope on? you enjoyed getting to know us. Mm -hmm. We're peaceful people. We don't want to bother or be bothered. Last so, night I dreamed I will you help us? Straight to the forest floor. Well, I suppose I have to. Uh, first off... You've built a real nice, tight-knit family here. That's rare in the Wasteland, because, well, you guys are weird, too. I'm glad you're able to see how special my people are. Well, they're special, Family right. is the most important thing that you can have, especially in the Wasteland. I will do Scorched anything that I can to, to protect mine. Okay. Still sounds creepy. Is there anything else you can tell me about this dagger chick? Other than she's insane and a manis. Manis? She has this loyal group of lieutenants that are willing to protect her with their lives. I'm telling you, if they didn't follow her everywhere she went, I'd have already tried to put her six feet under. Okay. Um, again, really creepy on the way you said that, but thank you. Well, I'll be happy to help you out, and, and I'll let you know how that turns out. Thank you. I knew you'd be as sweet on the inside as you are on the outside. Please be careful. Dagger and her lieutenants are dangerous folk. Why is there somebody up with a flashlight in my yard? I wonder what everyone's doing today. Seriously, there's somebody working around with a flashlight out in my front yard. In real life. And, and well... A little concerning, but I'll just kind of leave it at that for now. And... Good to put down some roots. Yeah. Right? Well, maybe they're just walking their dogs. Never thought of okay. this. Okay. Uh, back to though. the game because <laughs> I kind of. Nice get having get everyone nearby, even if they are at different elevations. It's nice having everyone nearby, even, even if they are at they different, are elevations. different elevations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I could walk all the way down here, but I've already been here, so I'm going to go down here to Dagger's Den. Well, that is indeed southwest, so at least it's not as far away as it could be. So, there's that. I could walk by that big mud puddle there, but I know what's in there and it'll kill me. So, I'm going to go here, okay? Let's spend the money and take an Uber. Let's, let's Uber ourselves over there and, and, and see how that turns out. Hopefully, I don't have to kill a whole lot of people, although they are blood eagles, so I don't mind killing them. Because they're crazy folk. Oh, Jeebus. I probably should have hid when I come in. Or maybe they didn't see me. Oh, they didn't see me. Good, they're after somebody else. This is a quite nice little setup they got here, too. I mean, look at this. That's actually quite nice. Now, you know I'm going to have to kill everybody in here to get there. So, um, you can die here. That's all right. I am prepared. Well, I can't get in that way because it's chained. Must be t'other way in. Let's see. How can I get in there without... 
Maybe this way? This might get me there. Uh, see if I can sneaky snake around here. I hear people walking around. I'm so bored. Where did I put those camps? Well, there's somebody near. I can kill them quick. I fucking hate this place. Fucking there. Take that. Now you don't have to worry about hating this place. While I'm here, I'm going to take your disease cures and stuff. Might as well open this up. A little bit to the left. Ah, uh, am I good at this or what? Drugs. I can sell them. I myself don't do drugs, but I'll take the salt and pepper for when I need to make some other shoot, you know, stuff to eat. I'm going to do it. Oh, when their backs are turned, I swear I'll do it. I think you should. Let's kill the doggy. I hate to do it, doggy, but... Gotta kill this off, too, just in case. Nobody heard that, right? Right? Nobody heard that? Okay, let's get rid of this chain so I can get in. Let's see if I can unlock this one just as easy. Nope, nope. How did I get to this point? Too many drugs. See, it wasn't chained. Of course, that's a different do door. Oh, when their backs are turned, I swear I'll do it. Well, let's see who else I can kill before I go in there and meet what's her hickey Because, you know, you got to kill them all. They're blood eagles. Everything's black. I can't see. That's because I burnt your eyeballs out, honey. Hey, where'd that big gun go you had? I want that gun. Take that lantern, though. Probably got oil in it. Sneak up here, see who's up here. Yep. One. one less mouth to feed. There's two of them. I, it. I got a twofer. Shh, shh. I need to quiet. Hush now. Oh, hi, doggies. I'm not afraid of death. I don't want to have to kill you, doggies, but since you're already in the flames... I'm sorry, little puppies. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I meant to do it. I just didn't want to. Oh, well. What do we got? I really hope we don't find you. And I think that's actually the other way around. You should probably hope that I don't find you. I mean, I see you up here roller skating around up there. Put tippy toe up here and get your little back. But come on, come on, come here. Where's your little butt at? Dressed in them fancy leathers. I promise I don't want your money. Just your ears. Ooh. That's creepy. I thought the Atlanta woman was creepy. All right, well, she was, but still. I'll catch you on the way down. There's another one I can, I can, I can wipe that one out. I'll sneak right up on him. Look, I'm practically indivisible. Look at all the goodies I'm getting out of this bunch. Oh, there's another one. Let's go kill him. He's got a missile launcher. I kind of want to take him out before he launches. Bye-bye. Oops. <clears throat> See if I can sneak down and get that one. And that one. Man, I'm just cleaning up around here, I tell you what. This be a nice place for settlers to move in. Once I clean it up. Get all these other blood eagles out of here so they don't, like, beat them on their way through. Oh, there's a back door. I should have just come in the back door. Ah, that takes too much thinking. Take that power fist. Thought I got that already. Anything down here? I could take the meat. They always have rad stag meat. That's the thing I love about raiding these types of camps. They always have food. And some gas for my... For my gun to burn them up with. I'm going to burn you up with the gas I stole from you. Ha 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 ha.
You never get to have any fun. Well, I'll give you some fun if you want fun. I'm into helping people out and getting fun. That's what I do best. Well, I don't know. Is anybody left? I heard somebody, but I don't see anybody. There's the door that, I, that was chained that I couldn't get in. Took care of that little problem. And anything else? Steal that. Anybody in here? Okay, that's a cage. I'm hoping that's for the dogs. Because otherwise, if people go in there, that's just wrong. There's that back door again. Well, I think I got everybody. Is that everybody? Did I, did I get y'all? Anybody left? You gotta make sure. When you do a job like this, you gotta make sure you finish. Otherwise, they will track you down. I'm going to take that, too. Otherwise, they will come and get you and, and kill you. Well, I guess that's everybody. All right, let's go in here and see if we can find what's her name. Now that we've cleared this place out. Now we'll sneaky snake in here, too. The dagger's dead. <laughs> That was supposed to be my creepy sound. In case you couldn't tell. They got chickens! I hear the chickens. Sneaky snake over here. Let's see what we got. We got that and that one. Who else we got? Anybody else? Somebody over there. Should go that way first or this way first? Must be cockfighting, I guess. You're dead. Useless. You're dead. Yes, they were. As guards, they were quite useless. Anything over here? Oh, there's an arrow pointing that way, but I want to get Come these people up me. here first. Okay, I'm coming. Coming! You did say come back, so I did. Take that and that and that. I'm just getting all kinds of goodies in here. Peekaboo. I see you. Now you're dead. Is he fishing? Seriously? Tripwire. <clears throat> I'll take that. Whoever was in here, they they they're oh throne room key. They have a is that like the bathroom key you get in the like the gas stations and stuff? It's Brianna Hawk's diary. Let's see what Brianna has to say here. The Free Staters and Survivors are occupied by blah, blah, blah. Free State Brothers Juan Diego and Jesus Sunday and me and my camp. Sundays were rich preppers. Small but well appointed bunker beneath a vacation cabin in the woods. Hawks, just ordinary citizens. I dated Juan Diego for the war, but yeah, you know. Found a cave set up nearby. It wasn't much, but did what I could to patch it up. Add some wood to the forest, got some furniture, and boom, we had a nice place. It's enough to get by. Over the following months, tensions grew. Sundays were living relatively well from their supplies, farming a little plot of land. I remember seeing that. Uh, swamps didn't eat anything they could scrounge up. Well, we resented the Sunday snobbish attitude, and they looked down on us like wild animals. Well, maybe you were acting like them. Negotiations over food failed. We started just stealing it. Okay. They built a wall, set up lethal traps. We lost some good people. You could have just went out hooking, you know, cooking yourself or maybe farming yourself or something. Anyhow, they set fire to the field and boom, boom, boom. Almost everybody died. 
The remnants of our band tried to salvage what we could from the fire, tried to break into the bunker, and out of food and options, I feel starved to death. Well, that's kind of what you get. You, you just, you know, work hard and, you know, plant your own food, grow it, do that kind of thing. Hmm. Should I go back over here, see what's over here? There's a whole nother little area down there. That must be the throne room. Let's not go in the throne just yet. See if there's anybody else here I can clear up. Anything over here? No, nothing over there. Nothing up my sleeve. More cages for people. Nice. Well, at least they give them wash sinks, you know. So they're clean. Locked up people. What's down in here? Ooh. Oh, the toilet. Well, that makes perfect sense. Ew, stinky. And we're back up here where we were. That's just one great big loop de loop. Including the chicken. Seriously, they call the chicken the bloody pecker. Not gonna say a word. Not, nope, nope, not touching that one. All right, well, let's, let's leave the bloody pecker alone. Steal the clipboard for the spring. I don't know what's, I guess they're like, seriously, that must be what it is. They do cockfighting down here and, and that's that. Well, all right then, let's, let's see if I can scrap some of this stuff before I go in there. But I don't really want to be over encumbered. And you can see I have caps, so I'm not really concerned about caps either. Ugh, that missile launcher's heavy. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm learning all kinds of wonderful new tricks out of this. Ah, back to 208. I feel much lighter now. All right, well, I guess we need to go over here to... Well, I can't get there from here. i got to go the other way. I know, there's something up there. I don't want it. It's just a pistol. I got plenty. Oh, adhesive? Take that. It's strange that I actually go through my house and every now and then I go, ooh, duct tape, for no reason at all. Somebody's snoring, somebody's sleeping. There's one less executioner. I hate to do this while you're sleeping. Wakey, wakey. Sorry about that. I don't want any of those things. Okay, dinner. I'll take some squirrel when we're sick, because you never know when you're going to be hungry. I should probably steal the pepper. Alright, well, since I found that, and that's not where I wanted to go, apparently I have to go down here. So, that's that away. I could just hop down. Jump right on top of that little sofa. Oh, they got weights and everything. More stuff I could be stealing. Alright. We'll go into the throne room. If she's sitting on a big toilet, I'm going to be very upset. You just kind of popped out of nowhere and I took your ass out, didn't I? All string wood lit. It's wood. I mean, come on. I just lit you on fire. Kind of what happens with wood. All right, let's go in here and see if Dagger's in here because I just wiped out her whole crew. She ain't got a whole lot left to deal with. Sneaky snake, there's somebody there. Somebody up there. Somebody over there. Well, let's just make ourselves known. Nothing in this wasteland can bring down Dagger's crew. I just did. Somebody needs to get me a drink. Well, Hi. well. Well, well, well. I see the Brotherhood has finally sent one of their pawns to retrieve my weapon. Because you've impressed me by taking out my crew, 
I'll allow you to say a few last words. <laughs> Choose them Stupid carefully, villagers. kid. Um. Weapons? What weapons? I'm here on behalf of the retreat. How did you know I was Brotherhood? You mean besides the fact that you waltzed in here all high and mighty? Oh, I've got eyes everywhere. I like to stay in kids' Yeah, well, I just took out most of your eyes. So anyhow, back to these weapons. Oh, shit. You mean you didn't know about the weapons? No, dumbass. They came and may have had a Brotherhood of Steel insignia on them. But they're ours now. No, Don't even not. think about walking into my place and making demands either. Dagger's throne is I won't let you touchable. take these weapons from us. Dagger's throne well, honey, I, I just took out everything you have. Um, isn't walking in and making demands exactly what you're doing with the retreat? No. How did you even get these weapons? This I want to know. My gang and I came across a small group of raiders and... Oh, I couldn't help but notice these beauties sitting around. Let's just say okay. negotiations didn't go over well. And now we're the owners. Who knows how that group got them from the Brotherhood? And really, who cares? Well, she's got a point there. Um, I could say this, but that's just dumb. Because she's not smart enough to figure that Kill out. She'll have an excuse. Either way, I'm taking that shit along with everything else. Like I said, these weapons don't belong to the Brotherhood anymore. I don't have any of their property. And you can tell those villagers they'll be punished for crying to the Brotherhood of Steel. That's not how this works, honey. Dagger's throne is untouchable. Um, hmm. I just killed all your people. I need to boost my strength. Let's see if I can do that and come back to this conversation. Violence it is then. Well, I guess that didn't work. So let's try doing this one part again. Because I was expecting to come in there and talk to her. But I didn't know I would need the strength. Oh, don't make me go and kill everything all over Nothing. again. You're going to make this me go and kill everything all over again. That is crazy. All right, fine. <laughs> First, let's get some strength Stupid going on. Villagers. Strength, huh? All right. Um. Well, I know psycho buff will help. But you're just killing me, and I didn't give me a chance to talk. Imagine living in a kid's treehouse. Well, I guess I don't get to talk to her again. Am I not going to get the chance to talk to you again? Could have sworn I had Psycho Buff. Well, we'll have to do Buff Tats. I did try to solve it peacefully, but you made that kind of difficult. So, that was my own fault for not being able to uh, chit chat. Sorry I messed that part up, but hey, you know, that's what happens when you try to play the game. Uh, we pounced him, he didn't swamp it. Yeah, the little exchange ran, take one, if it's in, I'll take that I'll take that anyhow. And I'm going to take your key and the missiles, and everything else you had for being such a smart ass. That's what you get, taking that. I'm gonna steal your shit too, just because. That's what you get for trying to kill me. Whatever's in here, I'm taking that too. All right, which way do I gotta go? No, maybe. Nope. Nope, must be the other way. There we go. All that for that? Ugh, God. Uh, we'll take the retreat supplies as well. We got everything we needed. And these idiots are all dead. 
It's what you get for not talking to me. That's what you get. Take that, Matt, Matt. Some people never learn. All right, well, let's get the hell out of this damn joint. I don't like it here. Especially since you didn't let me go out and re-enter the conversation. Normally, you can exit a conversation and come back in. You can give me a chance to do that. Very upsetting. Oh, I really don't want to have to walk all the way around there again. This is cheap. There's the chicken. We'll leave the deadly pecker over there. And that's that. I am not happy with that solution at all. I really wanted to talk her into like leaving leaving everybody. I didn't want to have to kill everybody. You know, leave somebody behind and warn everybody else. Out here. No, nothing nowhere. It's all shit. Hey, who's talking? I gotta kill you. Where are you at? Huh? I heard you. I heard you talking. There you are. Useless. Yes, you are quite useless, but it gives me a chance to read this. The Blood Eagle Code. Torturous course of action. Okay. Well, at least now I know who you are, what you do, and what you're like, and all that other good stuff. Alright, now let's get back to the treetops and tell them their problem is solved, and here's your shit back. Okay? Because I feel bad, but they kind of brought it on themselves. You know what I mean? What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? Well, I just showed you what I'm going to do. I just took them all out and said to hell with them. Alright, and you know what? You guys can build a little bridge here, maybe. That might be nice. So I don't have to walk through the water. Could you maybe do that? Maybe fix this little ski scooter thing? That could come in quite handy. The Ruth Ruthkowski boats. Okay. Oh, look, and they got, a, fog. they got a power Just armor a and everything. Just harder to see. What are you doing up this late? Go get some shut eye. Looks like yeah, it might I, I probably later. should, but first I gotta go talk to your boss lady because, well, that's what I'm here to do. Can I get there from here without going all the way around the world? Probably not. Seems uh. like it's always cloudy. Now it's telling me I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. So last night, I dreamed I fell out of bed and straight to the forest floor. It's a good thing our houses have walls, huh? Uh, well, I wouldn't really call that a big barrier there. Just saying. I never thought I'd live in a treehouse. Vault suits like yours sure are popular never lately. I found a real How did you see me? You appear. Shame about the spears. Oh. All right, well, let's we'll see what they're going to do here. Have you had a chance to pay Dagger a friendly visit? She be dead. Hmm, here's your supplies. And this weapon, use it to protect your people. Oh, I know that's going to piss off somebody. But I guess it's probably better. Ah, oh, what the hell, I'll give him a gun. Oh my, this is quite a weapon. I can't wait to try this bad boy out. Thank you so much for your help. I hope the Brotherhood won't mind us having this. You know they will. They're gonna be so. Oh shit! Is it's just true gonna shit. That strangler the vines can grow out at night and wrap around you while you're sleeping. Yes, I yes, that's true. Everyone nearby. Ooh, I'll take that. Even if they are at different elevations. And that. Don't really need that, but I'm taking it. God, now I'm as bad as dagger. All right. Well, let's go tell. Tell poor old Mommy what I did. Kids. Oh, you know she's gonna be so upset. <laughs> She'll probably be more happy with it than Shin. Shin's just going to be burping little bricks out his butt for the next hour and a half. Oh, that did not sound right, did it? Sorry about that. All right, let's go in here and talk to Danny Boy and uh, welcome to and, Fort Hatton. And, and what's her name? Romani. See, see how? Uh, might as well face the music. 
But if you're going to give him weapons, give him good weapons, I guess. And that's really going to tick him off. Uh, well. Oh, it's purple. All right, now you I know they're going to be here. Stay on your toes. Seen something quite interesting for you to come to me about it. Interesting is not the word. Concerning, yes. Okay. Well, one moment, Initiate. Night Shin is in the middle of his report. Okay, go for it. Well, I could do more than just fight. She told me to wait. I'm, I'm waiting. Sure that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put on patrol day and night. All right. Well, I'll talk to you instead. Go on, Shin. As I was saying, oh, one of oh. our patrols came across a raider storeroom. They were chased out, but not before sighting several crates with the Brotherhood insignia on them. All those crates are for important you look so assets. Mad all the time. We haven't used them since. Since that battle, let's mm -hmm. not waste time with details. Considering the contents, it's imperative that we recover those crates from the raiders. We have yet to establish a relationship with the people of Crater. It's possible I they did. are more agreeable than the other raiders we've encountered. Are you seriously considering the idea of leaving those items in raider hands? Let's no. discuss this later. We've kept the initiate waiting long enough. Were you yes. able to help the people of the retreat? Yes, indeed, I was. Dagger's dead, and I gave the supplies back to the retreat. Very unfortunate that things had to end that way, but at least the villagers are safe now. Them, and likely many others. The world is better off with fewer blood eagles. Huh. See, Don't speak so frivolously of human life, Knight. Oh, is there anything else to report? Uh, yeah. Um, about those weapons. Here the oh, here we go. The blood eagles, too. Did these crates have our insignia on them? Yeah, they if did. If our weapons have spread among multiple groups, that's a serious problem. One that the Initiate has exacerbated with their ill-advised handout. Only I one. I support the Initiate's decision. Yay. The villagers will not use that weapon with ill intent. One weapon isn't likely to cause a crisis, but the raiders have an entire cache. We can't just leave them as is. True. True. Um... I take it Shin has a history with the raiders? The Brotherhood saved Shin's hometown from a raider attack. It was then that Knight Connors recruited him into the fold. There uh, okay. have been other incidents since then, but... This is irrelevant to the mission. Perhaps okay. you can ask him about it another time. I okay. prefer that you didn't. Okay, well, where did these ribbon, weapon with ribbons? Uh, uh, where did... Uh, uh, well, read what that says. We obtained them during our journey to Appalachia. Unexpected circumstances remove them from our possession. That's all the Initiate needs to know. I am the one answering questions here, Knight. Okay. Good work, Initiate. You're dismissed. Okay. Speak to Knight Shen about the Raiders. I probably should. But I'm going to call it quits for right now. And I know part of that mission that they're talking about had to do with uh, some kids in here or something I heard them talking about. Well, anyhow, that's all for this episode. We will pick up again when, uh, when I do the next version of this episode. Should be coming out in the next day or two. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you didn't. Tell me why one way or the other down in the comments. Just say you saw it. That's good enough for me. Alrighty. And until then, you folks have a fantastic evening, daytime, afternoon, morning, wherever it is you may be. Okay? Alrighty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.